JKB back with another episode. Today on the show, I'm reviewing Kill It With Fire. Thank you to Tiny Build for the review copy. Kill It With Fire is considered to be a first-person horror simulation game where your job is to exterminate spiders that are hiding out in each level. Kill It With Fire is a prime example of taking a meme and turning it into a video game. You've got spiders within your house, and you've got a lot of tools to wipe them out. It's up to you to decide what tools to use, but it's a very simplistic game in its gameplay mechanics. Each level of the game will take you to a new location full of spiders, and this is where I have to really talk about the fact that the sound effects for the spiders is so creepy and makes me feel uneasy that yes, this can be considered a horror game where you just don't want to look under a pillow or underneath a bed because you know there's a spider in there. Visually, I absolutely adore games like this where independent developers come in with a simple idea and completely knock it out of the park. Now in terms of its gameplay mechanics, it's not necessarily a game you're going to want to play over and over, but it is something I think a lot of people will enjoy a couple of times. It's definitely one of those games that you would play with your partner or play online or even stream. The idea of going around a house and completely obliterating everything as you're just simply looking for a spider is a very funny idea and there's definitely moments where I've picked up items and you're able to spin them in your hand and in the last moment you realize the item you're holding, which might be a pillow or a book, there's actually a spider hiding on that item. And you, you actually hear it and you scream and you throw it against the wall and then you have to take out a frying pan or a gun or a shotgun and that's another thing I'll get into now, the weapons. There's a whole bunch of weapons to use in this game and my favorite has to be the cheese puffs that you throw on the ground and this lures the spiders out of their hiding spaces and then you're able to pull out a cooking pan and bash it over its head. As you get deeper into the game and get into different levels, you'll start to see that there are different types of spiders and this is where it comes into smart design because you start with black spiders then you go to white small spiders and then all of a sudden you've got little red spiders that explode and it keeps going forward with different ideas but what's creepy about that is the color of the spider it just stands out and that's a smart design choice because in a game like this where you are going around the same type of level and moving the same type of items yeah it gets a little deeper as you go into it but yeah you'll see a lot of the same thing like bookshelves and and pillows and cans and you know that type of thing but as you get deeper into the game it opens up and you end up outside and you start to see yeah some of these weapons that you're using feel <laughs> like you're having you're having a blast with them like the the hedge trimmer that you get, I believe, in the fourth level is amazing to use. You just hold on to it, it spins and completely obliterates all of the spiders. Now, in terms of this actually being a horror game, there are moments where you do feel uneasy because you know there's a spider hiding behind that TV or behind the bed frame, and you know you got to get it out of there. The levels are set up with locked doors with numbers on them, and let's say you want to get into the bathroom, you might see a number four. You have to kill four spiders to unlock that door and get further into the game. That's how it's set up on each level. And of course, there's extra achievements and little side missions where they might ask you to clean up a bedroom by moving items and putting them back onto the shelf. It has that next little level to it, but it's not the type of game that I can recommend to everybody because it has any longevity to it. It really is like the meme. You see it once, you experience it once. It's funny and it's hilarious and it's really well made. But after that, there's not too much to it. So overall, I'm going to give Kill It With Fire, which is amazing that I'm even saying this because it's based on a meme. I'm going to actually give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I know on PC that it's, it's getting a lot more than that. It's getting 10 out of 10s. 
And I think that is part to do with the fact that it is an amazing game to stream. So if you're a streamer out there or you just want to have fun with your partner, the spiders in this game will definitely freak you out. It is, yes, it is looking like a cartoon, but it doesn't need to be realistic. The sound effects are creepy enough and you can tell somebody's doing those sound effects with their voice. It's not actual spider sounds, which makes it kind of even creepier. And when you pick up these items for the first time and realize there's a spider on it, oh, it, I honestly, and I'm not making this part up, as I was playing the game last night for review, there was tons of moments where I started to feel itchy, like there was ants on me or a bugs, and I just felt creeped out by it. So in that regard, they nail it out of the park. Again, 7.5 out of 10. I do recommend it if you're a streamer. Or if you're somebody that has a partner and you just want to play a freaky little game where you can take turns killing spiders, this is perfect for that. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next episode of JKB.